Okay, so this is us. This is the whale. very slow and calm start into our next adventure after two weeks we are already leaving the BVI because we have an important date and <laughs> say so we are moving on to the Dominican Republic where now in January and February there should be the whales coming by and we definitely would love to meet them so we're sailing on we have about three days of sailing in front of us and if the start is promising anything, it should be amazing. so hot, there is nearly no wind, so our generator is our last refuge, maybe he can help us to get a bit more speed. More speed. Okay, it might have took us two tries to get it up <laughs> as we switched the tack and the clue in the first try. <laughs> but it's up now. Unfortunately, the wind is pretty much... Ah, now we have eight knots now, so should be should be bringing us forward. And um, yeah, hopefully it stays a little bit with us. It's going down to six, so let's see if it gives us any speed. Just said there's fish around us everywhere, like tons of birds jumping in the water, fish jumping out, everything. But we're just too slow. <laughs> Devastating. Nobody cares to bite on our lures. Oh, lures. Hello, little lures. Unfortunately, the wind now totally went. We have about three to four knots, so nothing we can really do. We had to switch on the motor. We, we knew there was not too much wind predicted today, but that it would have, yeah, almost nothing at all. We 
I just hope that tomorrow there is more wind. No fish, but a bit of wind. And an amazing sunset, it's crazy how the colors out here are always amazing. <laughs> when you're out at sea you're constantly hungry it's crazy and it's day two we had a bit more wind luckily and we're speeding with five to six knots so we are making good distance and yeah if all goes well tomorrow will be the Dominican Republic Catch any fish, unfortunately. We lost it. <laughs> we still have 20 miles. We still have 20 miles, but it's already really shallow, so it's like 30 meters here, and there's a lot of rocks. So who knows? We had a very good night, like we say, it with six to seven, eight, nine point two knots maximum, with like 15 to 20 knots of wind always from behind so really nice and hopefully we get there before four because after four it might be tricky to check in and they're a bit serious about yeah coming and leaving when it's dark so and yeah pizza dough is already waiting for us Final touch. So sad. Our strong little basil. Very sweet. Only one as it does not grow anymore. And with our belly full of pizza, we arrived in Samana in the north of the Dominican Republic.
the Dominican Republic and already got greeted by whales way far away when we entered. Unfortunately, there were a lot of tourist boats around so we did not want to add to their stress and we just went on to uh, Samana where we actually spent the first days. The first impression of the Dominican Republic is amazing. There are like palm trees everywhere. We actually discovered that this is the land with the most palm tree population. <laughs> and whenever you cut down a palm tree, you have to plant a new one because they want to keep the palm tree population as high as it is. We are out now again with sunrise in the hope to see some whales today. By the way, the handsome whale sculptor on the bow is my brother who just joined us in Samana for the next two weeks. And it looks like we are already amazingly lucky. From afar we are seeing the... <laughs> so we are trying to get closer now and it would just be so nice to see them from very close. Michael is taking out the drones, so hopefully we'll get some amazing drone footage we can share with all of you. This is just, this has been on our list top three experiences for forever, so I really hope we can see them from close. too much finding Nemo <laughs> but as a side note Greta also looks like Dory Ja, der hängt da. Nein, ja, bitte nicht. Ja, ich kann sie nicht hoch Max. So wie der da liegt auf der Hey Beauty! Okay, so. This is us. This is the whale. Schau, schau, die Schnauze! Ich die Schnauze gesehen, auf die Schnauze gesehen. Magst du dich vorstellen? Ja, hallo, ich bin der Gabel. Hallo, hallo, Englisch, Englisch, please. Nein, nein, nein. <lacht> so, we are out now here and we just switched off the motor and uh, Michael was actually preparing breakfast. 
and I literally jumped and screamed because it popped up like five meters close to us and we just heard the coming up and who knows maybe they come again and like to meet us a little bit more. <laughs> So they just had a crazy idea to jump into the water. I'm kind of ready to, but also not. <laughs> Let's see if the waves are still around. It would just be awesome to, to swim with them, but I'm also pretty scared. Or a lot. But let's see if they're still around even. But it has been already one of the best gifts ever so far. Oh, that's what I Oh, links from Eng. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Sie sind genau vor Eng. Oh, wow. And how was it? Scary. <laughs> Got close, but didn't see it because the milky the water is so milky. But still, it's super scary. <laughs> uh, yeah, we will get another one soon. How is it out there? <laughs> <laughs> and with these beautiful images and emotions, we would like to thank you for watching this episode. Feel free to share this video with anyone you think would enjoy some sailing and whales adventure. We will be back in two weeks with more boat life experiences. See you then! Bye!